Hey everybody, Rodman here. Thanks for tuning in to Mount and Blade 2 Ban Alert, a Let's Play tutorial series. So here we are, continuing the war against Batania, uh, taking a look at my surrounding areas. Uh, we just are about to march towards uh, Lenok Hen Castle, but what I want to do is pop over to some of the local villages so that they can supply my armies with food and the like and re-recruits and stuff like that. Threctatory Castle was just besieged by Beastein of Batanians. Great. So I'm going to head to there first. Alright. Let's go crush their siege and then we'll counterattack uh, pushing towards Abcomer and uh, Lahen Nock Castle. I'm not even going to worry about uh, villages like Veron. I just simply don't have the time to fight every fight, especially if it's an individual lord who will run. Um... Alright, so here is an army of 900. That's very, very good. Uh, I think... I think what I'll do is, given that I'm likely to take some losses, maybe not even insignificant ones, I will use some influence to add some additional uh, men to my army here. These guys are moving on. Hey, could you wrap them up? Yes, there we go. I love when my mercenaries uh, jump in and uh, wrap them up like that. All right, so having them all follow me, let's get to better, higher, easily defendable ground. It looks like actually there is fantastic uh, terrain for this fight up here. Oh, uh, stipulating that they push us, but one can vote. Get moving! Uh, I could probably have them be aligned a little bit better. I have a lot of cavalry in this current army, uh, which I have to consider as well. So here, we'll put them... That should work. Or maybe even the next hill over. No, I hear shooting noises, so I think we're good. We won't be hitting them accurately, but... Oh no, I, I like this plateau. Okay, so repositioning, I see they're coming up to me. I don't... Okay, my archers are in position in, in time. That's good. It's going to be challenging for me to anti-cavalry, given how thick these trees are, but I'll do my best. I might not even need to do very much, as my crossbowmen are making short work of swarms of them. Alright, I'm telling my uh, cavalry and infantry to go. Oh, you horse lords. No mercy for the horse lord. Oh wow, the edge of the map is right here. So that's the only problem is they're able to flee very, very easily. I don't want my people to overextend. Nope. Nope. Get out of here. Alright, 
I know I keep repositioning them, but I like where they are now. Alright, let's go after the cavalry like we normally do. Looking at the wall of green, I'm guessing they aren't faring too well. Oh, here's your cavalry. Oh no, this is my cavalry. Well, my cavalry do a counter push. Oh, come on. I'm gonna get him. Get off my crossbowman. There we go. <laughs> Alright, I don't want to charge too far. Where are they? Oh, they're just here. Yeah, okay, I got it. Ooh. Cheeky bastards. Hitting my horse like that. Alright, sending my footmen back to the mountain or whatever to hold position. Oh, that was a vessel. I'll take it. You know what? I'm going to tell everyone to charge. I want to overrun the respawn position. They did have 900 or so troops, so this is going to be a long fight unless I absolutely spawn camp them mercilessly, which is exactly what I intend to do. Hey guy, usually people don't survive the first swing. You. Oh man, horse lords it is. I don't know how we got so many cavalry, but I'll take it. The constant breaks of trees makes it very challenging to get a good swing. Yeah, I'm just gonna get, I'm getting beat up a bit. Let's go after Calvary. Oh, out, out, out. Keep moving. Alright, there's a horse. Was. What else? Alright, there's one over here. Nope, he just got knocked out. Whoa, I just hit the respawn. I like trampled where they were respawning. That's kind of rude of me, I guess. But now, as you can see, I am literally just spawn camping. Uh, my ratio of, like, kills to deaths, or whatever, is gonna decrease, but it will shorten this fight significantly. As we're sitting on top of rightfully where they have to spawn. And now I'm telling them to hold position. Uh, I don't like these archers being uncontested over here. Alright, my horse is not doing well. Let me get out of here. you doing <laughs> what are you doing man just hanging out I guess fight? Seems like you hit a tree there. And unfortunately for you, 
lack of momentum really got you killed. I don't think there's much left. I think it's like a horse or two. This being one of them. Oh, damage. I hit him in the chest at 22 meters per second for 12 damage? Come on now. Oh, he's down. All right, so four, four to one ratio. I know it was not gonna be my best ratio fight because I did overextend. You're welcome, and Vashorky. I actually at one point wanted to recruit you. I still do, so you're free to go. I want, I care more about the relationship with you than anything else. You have a ton of territory, so you're my prisoner. And, oh, these are all troops for me. Ah, wow, okay. Wow, he's, all right. And then in terms of prisoners, I can't take all of them, so. Let's cherry pick. Picking the highest. So I just liberated a absolute ridiculously ton of troops that I might be able to, uh, to you know, give out to my guys who have lost. Or put them in a garrison. Alright, I'm at 97... Or 91 out of 97. 96. Done. Uh, there's not a single good piece of loot off that fight. But uh, Threctatory Castle is now protected. Uh, taking a look, I because of course I just added a ridiculous amount of troops. Um, Trustin has too many. <laughs> Damien has too many. Uh, can does not. So I actually have to take troops from Trustin. I have to take um, seven troops from Trustin and three from Damien. All right, interesting uh, that they did that. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven. And then Damien, because they're just going to disband otherwise, right? Um, one, two, three. All right, Tassinor, I'm going to donate to your garrison. Actually, you know what? I'm going to donate to Veron Castle, my own castle, of all these additional troops, because I might want to draw from them sometime in the future. I have a ton of uh, non Valandian now. And then I also could put Sign, or whatever her name is, into my uh, dungeons. Alright, we do have a lot of prisoners escaping from Rote. Taking a look at... Make peace with Sturgia. Um... Whatever. Uh, they still want me to pay tribute. That's real dumb. Considering how dramatically they're losing. Why would I need to request entry to my own castle? That's just weird. Uh, so, donating prisoners first. I am going to donate all of my high tier prisoners that I only am going to be able to ransom. And then what I'm going to do is only keep, like, up to three of each other type of prisoner. Because you only recruit them uh, a few at a time, right? Okay, so there's my prisoner. Donate troops to garrison. Oh, boy.
82 of my troops. Actually, you know what? Oh, it's owned by Giffer. Well, that's awkward. <laughs> oh, oh, well. I hope you enjoyed that, Giffer. Alright, over here it looks like whoever was raiding got attacked and then lost. Alright, Lantanor, you'll help. Yeah, okay. I don't need to I don't need to do that fight myself. Okay, so I'm gonna go after Lenok Hen Castle so that Luchin has no reason to um no reason to stick around in Botania. That was a significant amount of my remaining influence. Hey! Hi, Vashorky. Could I talk to you? No, you're you're gonna run for me. I uh, I understand. All right, besiege. Uh, you do have uh, Fierad in here, and he's really not gonna be able to escape, given the size of my siege or whatever. Monchug just declared war on Southern Empire. Uh, let's take a look here. Diplomacy. Kuzate at 1200. Southern Empire. Okay, Southern Empire is so screwed. Varon is raided by Radagast. Okay. As long as nothing is besieged, I would like to counter the besiege. But what I'm doing here is I'm going to take Lenok Hen Castle, I'm going to take Ab Comer Castle, and then I'm going to reass or I'll, I'll constantly reassess. Uh, where I might be best suited. Wait, who are you guys? You must be a mercenary band, because you're not hostile with me. But it says you're... Okay, Borsha of the Lick Rats. Okay. I was curious about that. Uh, Atacania Castle. Besieged... Atacani Castle is owned by Serratus. Um, well, that's a bit of a problem because it's the only one he owns. Where is Atacani Castle from where I am? I can't really tell. Let's see. Atacani Castle track. Okay, it's pretty... Oh, yeah, it's... It was one of the first ones I took. Hmm. Not so keen on that capture, but, you know, what can I do? Alright. Trebuchet, please shoot the catapults. Oh my god, you're stupid. There you go. Hey, Mantios. Pleasure seeing you here. Yes, go chase them. Go chase the little lords. So my strategy for this one was just to have my uh, trebs immediately start. You know, I didn't, I didn't, uh, Shavel of Seralande, okay, where was that? Shavel, you were last seen near Tacker Castle. Okay, so you're probably deep in enemy territory. I want to figure out where the battles are happening and who's getting captured, etc. Atacania Castle is still holding out, but my guess is it will be captured. Um, Sinopia is besieged by Petter of the Southern Empire. Okay, so Kuzate and uh, Southern Empire are really going for it. We are close to having these walls down. I've got 19 days of food, so food is not an issue. My cohesion is, but uh, I can always donate for it.
Okay, one wall left. Sven has been taken prisoner. Um, good job, Andros. Alright, come on. Get that last. Done. Lead an assault. We have no time to spare. Kind of a, a fiery night raid, I like it. If for some reason they don't have troops stationed here, so I know what I'm gonna do. Oh, hello. They're all trying to shoot me, though. Okay, so a big enough a bug. No one's attacking. Archers, soldiers, Archers, footmen, arrows, everyone, cut them down. All right, so I'm telling everyone to to uh, to charge because I don't know what's wrong with this castle, but no one's moving at all. So I'm gonna have everyone charge because it's easier for me. And it looks like they're fishing a barrel, so I'll take it. Let's take out their archers first. Hello, archers. Don't look up. Don't mind me. Ow. Whoever just hit me, that was a hard hit. Alright, well here goes their... Who are you? Oh, you must be Fear Rat. Let me aim for you. Maybe he's not Fear Rat. But I bet he is. He looks fancy and special. Uh, it... Was it was Fearad? I just saw in the kill feed that Fearad got knocked out. Well, enjoy being absorbed by my army. The day is lost, indeed. Oh my God! Look at that green wave. They are just disappearing. All right, seven dead, 300 dead. Uh, I'll take it, I'll take it. That's uh, that's pretty good. Uh, we'll take all the prisoners, or actually not all of them. Let's just take the ones I like. Done. As far as weapons, um, this weapon was probably fear adds, as was the shield, or so. All right, so let Lenoch Hen Castle is ours. Uh, Atacania Castle doesn't actually look like it's being besieged right now. I don't see a siege icon. Uh, so let's go to Abcomer. Carving out uh, even more of the Batanian territory. Munchug of Guzates just declared war on Batania. Oh, poor Batania. Thank you, uh, Munchug. He doesn't realize how helpful that is for him to declare war on everybody I border. And somehow not declare war on me? Very strange, but I like it. Siramus, are you serious right now? You, 83, are chasing my 1517? Whatever drugs you're on, um, reduce the dosage because you are, what, like, just suicidal or something? Uh, let's take a quick look at my party. So Varric is at Orticia.
and is of age. So I could add Varric to my companion. Um, but here's what I wanted. Uh, it looks like, yeah, Trustin, they all could use a few more troops. Not that big of a deal, but uh, for me to add a few of my prisoners to my group is really no effort at all. Okay, that might be enough. Um, let's see. Trust in you first. You need four. One, two, three, four. Okay, Damien, you need two, and you need four, so that's six. So I have two extra, I believe. One, two. Okay, so four more. Uh, let's go for the high-level ones. So one, two, three, four. Great. I can count to very simply low numbers. Perfect. Hello, Damien. And... One and two. And then can. And we are good. Now in my own army, I do have some crossbowmen that can level up. And Abcomer Castle, what are you, just all ballistae? All right, that's fine. trying to figure out if there's anything happening other than my current raid, my current siege. Um, it might be good at a low cohesion. What I don't want to do is run out of uh, influence because soon there will be... What current things are pending? Uh, the owner of Lenhanok is currently pending. Ooh, Batania wants to pay me. Maybe after I capture Lenhanok, I will do that. La, uh, or uh, Abcomer, rather. And then I'll try to add Lucian, too. Lucian, or whatever his name is. Alright, I am waiting here. Sinopia being defended. Okay, so Sinopia, uh, we've got Southern and Kuzate going big toe-to-toe -to -toe here. Alright, let's move to reserve. Taking a look at my uh, vassals. Oh, I need to... So Vipon here owns nothing. So very obviously this goes to Vipon. Very, very obviously. Now, every single one of my vassals, as far as I'm, I know... Yes, every single one of my vassals now has territory. As you can see, these two are uh, mercenary bands. Um, and then Vipon and Serratus and... Uh, Fafin all own and Tassinor all own one. I'd like to bring those numbers up to two and uh, Abcomer Castle is part of that equation, right? Spreading some extra. Mantios has been taken prisoner. Alright, where was Mantios? He was last seen near Dalmengus. I don't know where that is off the top of my head, but it's Batanian territory, so he was taken prisoner. Oh, uh, there it is. In uh, enemy territory. I just wanted to see if he was taken prisoner by defending or attacking. Because if he was defending, that would be a bit of a different issue. Um, my mercenaries just left. So, Benny, Zael, they're gone. That's unfortunate, but, you know, to be expected. Uh, Le Lenok Hen just got besieged by Adawar. Uh, and Nikasaur is gathering his own army. Cool, Nikasaur. So I might actually have to take Lenok Hen back after they take it a first time. Because I'm not about to break siege right now. I've set up all these beautiful trebuchets, you know? Tassinor just take taken prisoner. And you were last seen it. Oh! That's not good. That's actually right next to Veron. So they do have people uh, deep in my territory, I guess. I'll have to sort that out in a minute. Yep. 
One thing I wanted to check out is... Okay, not a single one can be leveled up. It's fine. Thraktatori Castle is being defended, so Thraktatori is also being attacked. You know, I'm gonna have to break siege, I think. No, no, I'm gonna return to siege. So I might have to recapture a whole bunch of things. Ragnvad of... Okay, Ragnvad just got captured. I don't know who captured him, but that's hilarious. Okay, you guys... Balliste, please, please, please aim for the walls. Aim true, break those things down so I can, uh... I can defend my own... Unquid just declared war on us, I'm guessing? Yep, here's the Azurai. Alright. And Fenoria just got captured. Len Lenok Hen got taken. So, Fenoria, you were near Primosos. Okay, so there's something going down, and I need to wrap this up fast. Is what uh, the feed is telling me. Alright, so there's Ottawa's army. Come on, break these stupid walls. Now, it's going to be really, really, really easy for me to counterattack uh, Lenok Hen, because it's not going to really have anyone defending it when I get there. Alright, leading the assault. So, the minute I'm done here, what I need to do is I need to make sure that I don't get knocked out. I actually need to play it safe because obviously I'm going to be in a considerable number of... Oh, are we doing this again? Yeah, we're doing this again where they're not charging. Um, I'm going to be in a, a whole lot of fights right after this fight. So it's it would be best if I have, you know, if I'm not uh, wounded so I can actually lead and not have tactics auto-resolve. There's enough of my troops here that I'm no longer all that concerned about my welfare. So if um, Azurai is at war with me, which is fine, I want to wrap this war up so I can defend my southern territories. And possibly all of my new vassals uh, give them additional territory, right? Because they don't, a lot of them only own one thing. I want them to own two. What are you, a ghost? Come on now. Really, I, I'm sure this is a war crime, but the fewer numbers that they have, the easier it will be for me to continue stomping Batania into the nowhere. Alright, good enough. Eight to, let's call it just about 300. Uh, can I have, I don't have room for 50 prisoners, so I will cherry pick. Uh, that's good enough. I'll leave the twos and the ones. Garbage items. And... Hey, out of where? I heard you wanted a fight. 
Okay, Lucian is over there. I just saw him recruit some people. Where do you think you're going? Yeah, this is not going to be good for him. Oh, we are close. There is not a lot of distance between us. Uh, that's a little interesting. I might be able to overrun the respawn location. And, uh... And essentially spawn camp them. Oh, because it's a village fight. Oh, interesting, interesting. Okay. All you stupid horses, get out of my way. Get moving! Soldiers! Shield forward! Onwards! Okay, they should be close enough that once my crossbowmen are in position, we'll start firing upon them. Because they're really not that far. They're just over this, uh... They're just in this town. As you can see. Forward a little bit. Infantry! Oh boy, look at this. Yeah, you want to sit back there? That's fine. Listen to my choir of bolts. Oh, Chaya, or whatever your name was. Goodbye. Alright, sending my cavalry to go up against these little guys. And then I'm going to have them back up. It was just a, a crash to demoralize them more than anything else. Good if I aimed. What? How does that not connect? I'm losing my touch, aren't I? So the thing is, there's really no point in me choking up. We already have um, crossbowmen basically staring at their respawn. Which means that my ratio, kill-death ratio or whatever you want to call it, my efficiency is maximum here. This is going to be one of the best ratios of all the battles I'll ever fight because of the situation that they're in. Where they are just being having bolts rain down upon them, and they're not able to retaliate. It's rude, sure, but like, oh my god, is it good? Good for me. All right, I think they're just. They're at the breaking point. So I'm having... Oh, hi. I'm having everyone counter-rush them. Because there'll be fewer survivors if I do. That's actually my current worry is not... You look like a noble. Oh, you weren't. You're just a horse raider. Put that crossbow away. Um, My worry was that uh, enough of them would get away if I didn't get aggressive. Getting over out. Oh, my horse. Uh oh. I'm definitely getting knocked out. Well, we had a really good ratio until my horse went down. Well, I think the ratio is still pretty good. 
but it could have been better. I don't know. It's still pretty good. <laughs> still pretty good. All right, uh, Edward, are you? Yeah, you're a prisoner. I really don't have room for any of these guys. So I am super cherry picking. We didn't really get anything wonderful out of that. Except for the fact that they're missing an army now. Uh, I'm not all that worried about uh, Astas. So I'm going to go after Lenok Hen Castle instead. Let's uh, let's make sure that we do not have other... Okay, so they're getting ready for Sanala, the Azurai. Right, I owned everything uh, west of this river. Um, and I still do, which means they haven't captured anything. But I'm going to want to get ready to defend my current holdings. Uh, Mansha, you just made peace with... No, you haven't made peace. You gave territory out. Alright, Lenok Hen Castle, here I come. Actually, Jastian's army. I don't have a lot of, um, oomph left in me. But, uh... I'm going to have to send troops because I got wounded. Alright, Voldret, you're most welcome. And Kulharn, let's see about you. You are a prisoner. In terms of prisoner capacity, I'm actually over capacity. So... I'm going to pick and recruit, I think. So here's what I was going to do. Uh, it looks like a lot of my allies yeah, could use some additional troops. So let's recruit for them. Going after the highest levels first. So you have uh, 122, 123, 4, 5, 6, 7. Done. And Can, you could take 5, and Damien could take 4. Okay. How many do I have? One extra? Got it. So, you move up, you move down. So, um, five and four, nine, so I need eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's as good as it's going to be. Min-maxing like this maybe isn't super helpful, but, like, every little bit counts, I think. All right, Lanark Hen should be easy for me to knock over because they don't even have walls. Right, so the moment I set up a siege camp, I'm just going to siege because this left wall is still broken. Uh, as far as characters go... It's showing that um, something leveled up, but then also not, so I don't know. Galden of Serlandia. Alright, where was Galden? 
near Eberth. Okay, you were captured while raiding. Got it. Let's lead an assault. I do believe that this was the castle. Th th this and the other castle were ones where no one actually ever sieged. So I'm going to issue a charge order. Uh, I'm going to stay out of this because I am mortally wounded. Well, as out of it as I can be, right? I am a warlord, after all. Now let's stay on the horse. Oh, they're not even... Yeah, they didn't even have a full garrison, so this is going to be insanely one-sided. Their garrison here is mostly just volunteers. And they're in full route now. Sorry, horse. I know that hurt. Alright, there it is. It's always much easier to take a castle back. And Lenoch Hen Castle is now mine. Uh, taking a look at the entire map with Batania, I am now up three castles. They are up nil. Um, it's probably a good time to end this episode, but I am going to propose peace before I do. That's going to free up a ton of my captured lords. Uh, they, uh, Batani here are now paying me, and I get to keep my holdings, and also, um, head over to Luchin, uh, next episode, and try to recruit him. So I feel really good about this. We have expanded our territory yet again. Uh, obviously I'm going straight into a war against Azurai, um, which I'm very eager for. But I think before, of course, as I mentioned, uh, before heading to Azurai's territory, I'm going to want to recruit Luchin and maybe reassess if there's any other Britannian lords uh, that I can recruit as well. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you all next episode. Farewell, everybody.